Hey there everyone. So this is going to be a rather short, somewhat niche tutorial. Um, if you're into the survival genre, you probably saw that Pal World uh, was released. And while it is uh, super duper fun, uh, if you are somebody who wants to play with your friends, you either have the option of co-op or uh, a dedicated server. Uh, now, me and my friends, we started playing in co-op, but then more of our friends got the game, and we wanted to swap to a dedicated server. Uh, under normal circumstances, this wouldn't be a problem. You copy the save, you drop it onto the server, bada bing, bada boom, you're done. The issue is, is that, uh, for some reason, the way that PAL World saves character data and level data is somewhat intertwined. I suspect that this is because they want to uh, use that as a method to prevent duping, but anyway, I digress. Uh, because of this, uh, when you transferred a co-op world to a dedicated server, the host would be unable to use their old character. They would join and it would force them to make a new character. Um, this kind of sucks, for obvious reasons. Uh, they lose all their items, they lose all of their pals, they lose all of their progress on a character. For us, that was pretty detrimental. We had just reached level 24. We unlocked a bunch of really cool saddles. Uh, we were a bit distraught. So I spent about four or five hours yesterday uh, attempting to troubleshoot this in my own way before I came across this post on Reddit uh, by Nicolas. Uh, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name, uh, who posted a link to a Pal World host save fix. Um, now, I'm not saying that the instructions were bad. I'm not saying that they were not concise, but they were a bit lacking in the instructional department, especially if you have never used Python before. So I wanted to make this tutorial for people who may not have used Python before, may have also found the instructions a little bit unclear or uh, missing some more basic computing elements that maybe you know you don't know or you just haven't encountered before. So all links to everything you need are going to be in the description of this video and the first link is going to be to the actual tool itself. Uh, this is the PAL World host save fix. Uh, these are also the instructions here. There is another download that you will need. This is the Unreal Save Editor. Uh, the link is in the PAL World host save fixed, so if you click on that, it's going to open this. Um, this is the GitHub for the UE save RS. Again, if you've never used GitHub or anything like that, this can look very confusing. So, as you can see, this is all the files. Over on the right hand side, there is a releases. Um, it's not quite a button, it's like a, a click thing. I'm going to make it yeah, there we go, you can see it. So you go over to releases, you are going to download the release that you need for your system. We have two Mac OS releases, we have a Windows 64, Linux 64, and another Windows 64. Um, I downloaded the zip personally because I didn't want to do a full install, that's what this .msi is for. Um, I just downloaded the zip and I extracted it to a folder. So I'm going to show you guys that folder now here it is all right this is the folder for the ue save editor all right uh basically you just it's the ue save file here and then it's the little readme and the license that's what comes in here by default all this other stuff i threw in here and i will tell you why in just a moment all right so going back to the pal world host save fix instructions you're also going to notice that right here up at the top in its list of files there is a fixhostsave.py. If you don't know what this is, this is a Python script. So I have the link to download Python in my description once again. Uh, once you have that downloaded and installed, um, you are going to have to run this Python script. The link to the Python download is going to send you here, and you're going to go, you know, click whichever OS you need it for, Windows, Linux, Mac OS, etc. Uh, download that, install it. Once you've got that running, you're going to want to go over and download Visual C++. I also have a download for this in the description. Um, I gotta stop saying that, I already have all of the, you guys know that already, but anyway, okay. Uh, you're, again, download the version that you're going to need. We are going to need this to run the Unreal save tool. 
All right, so once you have Python installed, once you have the Microsoft uh, redistributables installed, you're going to want to go back to the uh, PowerWorld Host Safe Fix uh, Python file. You're going to click on this here. There's two ways to do this. If you know how to use GitHub, you can go ahead and you know grab this file, download this whole thing, whatever you want to do. Me personally, I just clicked in here and grabbed everything inside of this Python file, threw it into Notepad, saved it as a text document, and then renamed the text document to .py um, because that's perfectly viable and that's the way it works. It's legible code. So now you see I have inside my UE Save Editor folder, I put it all in one folder to make this easy for myself. I threw the .py file into my UE Save Editor and you can see in here I'll just uh, bring this guy over here for a second. There you go. And this is just what it looks like. This is the Python script that it runs. Right? You don't have to worry about anything that's in there because I'm going to have you putting everything into this UE folder, including the script itself. All right. If you are doing this for a friend, or if you are doing this on a remote server, there are two things that you're going to need. One, you are going to need your friend's files or you're going to need your host files. The two files that you're going to need are the level.dat and you are going to need their 0000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 etc. one save file. Okay. Um, they can just zip up their uh, local world whatever that happens to be named this string of numbers or letters combination. That file should they need it is pretty straightforward to find. Um, however, this is the location in case you're wondering. It's most likely going to be in your C users, whatever your friend's name is for their computer, app data, and local. Uh, you can easily get to this by having them uh, just open up an explorer window and type in percent app data percent and press enter. It's going to bring them to their roaming folder, but you can go back one, you can go up one folder basically and go to local and then inside of local you're going to see pal and if you go to pal you're gonna have your saved and you're gonna have your safe games and there is my local safe game. Now I'm not fixing mine because I wasn't the host, my friend was the host. Going back to the zip file that my friend sent me of their game what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the level.dat out of here right into the EU folder. It's going to ask me to replace because I don't, I already did this, but I so I'm going to replace this. Okay, and then I am going to go to players and I'm going to grab their 00001 file and I already made a players folder here, you can see, okay. Um, you can make this folder in here and then just drop it inside of there and now I have the 0001 file. Now you see if you're looking in there right now you're going to see that there's another file in here. There's two files that you need to put inside of this player folder to make this work. You need their original host file which is going to be the 01. Okay, And then the other one that you need is going to be from your dedicated server. Hopefully before you've you know really set up a server or anything like that you've tried th having them get on and they made them a file. Basically, this is done at best when the server is initially set up. Have the host try and log on first. I made the mistake of playing for a couple of hours before uh, my friend attempted to log onto the server. Uh, unfortunately, that ended up in me having to roll back my server um, to their co-op save because no matter what I did, I could not get this to work. Now, it is important for your friend to log on to their co-op save open it up like they normally would have the invite code. You don't need to join, but they do need to transfer guild control to you if you have a guild with them. Um, I didn't do that and I swear that was probably three of my four to five hours of troubleshooting this. It needs to happen um, just straight up. There is some data that gets left over in some of these files from the guild information that causes this to not work correctly. So they need to transfer control to somebody else in that guild and they need to leave the guild. So once those two files are placed in there and you have the level.dat, 
placed in the same spot as the fix host uh, script. So now what you want to do is you want to start uh, Windows PowerShell. You can just uh, click your, your Windows button and search for uh, Power and it should be one of the first things that pops up. All right, so now we have Power, Windows PowerShell open. You can see this is not the right path. Okay, so I have to change the path. So I'm going to do CD for change directory and I'm going to paste the directory location of this save editor with all of my files in it. I'm going to press enter and there we go. Now we see the working directory is dedownloads. So now what we have to do is we have to uh, copy and paste that script from the GitHub right here. Okay, And what we're going to do is change these three variables to match our folder structure that we have set up in here. All right, mine is going to look like this. Press enter and then it's going to let you know, warning, running this script will change your save files and potentially corrupt your data, etc. Make sure you have a backup of all this stuff. If you're doing this already, hopefully you have a backup already made. If not, this is your last chance to do your backup stuff and definitely do your backup. All right, after that, once you're sure, press enter. It's going to take a little while. It's going to uncompress it. It's going to read it. It's going to convert it to JSON, change a couple of things. Then it's going to reconvert it from JSON to the actual file. And then it's going to uh, resave it and recompress it uh, properly. So leave this up. You're going to see a couple things pop up. JSON file has been parsed, changes have been made, etc. You are not done. This is not done until this says, good luck, have fun. All right, so give it a couple of minutes. If you have to let it sit, let it sit. Okay, so this is now all done. You see it says the fix has been applied, have fun. So if I go back into that players folder, you're going to see I only have one file in here, and this is the file that needs to go onto the server, into the server's players folder. This and the new uh, level.dat uh, save are the two files that need to go back onto your server. Boot that up and then have your host connect and hopefully they'll be all set. Thanks very much. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you found this helpful.